So here, let's uh, use Copeland's method to see if we can find a winner uh, in this election. So we have a lot of comparisons to make here uh, because we have uh, five different candidates. Uh, so we're going to have uh, A versus B, A versus C, A versus D, A versus E. We're going to have B versus C, B versus, oops, B versus D, and B versus E. We're going to have C versus D and C versus E, and we're going to have D versus E. Uh, these ones are shorter because we've already counted. For example, B versus A is the same as A versus B. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at our first comparisons here. So for A versus B, again, we're looking to see who's ranked higher in the choices. So c between B and A, B is ranked higher. Between A and B, A is ranked higher. B and A, A and B. A, uh, B and A, so B is higher there, A is higher there. And so we have uh, 3 and 4 is 7 and 2 is 9, uh, 9 for B. And we got 4 and 6 and 1 is 11 for A. And so A is going to be the winner uh, of that first comparison and A gets uh, 1 point, right? So the A gets 1 point. Uh, so let's keep a tally here. A has one point so far. So next, next, let's compare A versus C. So comparing A versus C, 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 A, A. So A has three pre preference, uh, three preferring uh, A, 17 are preferring C, and so C is gonna get, uh, C is gonna get one point here. Okay, uh, next, let's compare, compare A versus D. Uh, so in A versus D, A, A, D, D, A, A. Uh, and if we count those up, let's see here, we got uh, 3 and 4 and uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, and D is 4 and 6 is 10. Okay, and here we have a tie between A and D. And so both A and D here are going to get half a point for the tie, okay? And so now we continue doing this for each of our comparisons. And there are all of our, our comparisons. And so now, finally, we can look and see who's going to win. So if we add up all the points that A's earned, A has earned two and a half points, B has earned one and a half points, C has earned two and a half points, and D has earned three and a half points, E has earned zero points. And so under Copeland's method, D is the winner for this election. Now, in this particular case, it turns out D is not the Condorcet winner. There isn't one in this particular election. Uh, so Copeland's method finds sort of the best it can uh, if there is no Condorcet winner.